Hello guys and welcome to this presentation. This presentation is short about the course outline. This is NUS 232 Medical Surgical Nursing 3 uh, Theory. These are three unit course. So we're going to have three hours every week. Okay. The purpose of this course, uh, guys, is to the purpose of this course is to let me just take this. I'm talking about the purpose of this course. Uh, this course is designed to equip the learners with knowledge, skills, and attitude in the management of conditions affecting the musculoskeletal system, the endocrine system, genitourinary system, integumentary system, and lastly, the nervous system. Okay? The expected outcome for this course is that by the end of this course, the learner should be able to uh, describe medical and surgical conditions involving these systems that we have mentioned neurological, musculoskeletal, integumentary, and nervous, nervous or neurological system. Next, you're supposed to describe um, the diagnostic tests. Okay, diagnostic test. So, in diagnostic test here, uh, we are talking about the different diagnostic tests that a patient of musculoskeletal system will be subjected to, endocrine will be subjected to, genitourinary, yes, all the systems, okay? So the diagnostic test, we want to be very keen with your nurse responsibility for a patient undergoing this test. What are you going to do? Uh, how are you going to support them? Next, you're going to look at the nursing process and how it is used in the management of these conditions. Yeah, So we'll see how assessment is done, uh, how nursing diagnosis are arrived at, uh, what will be the plan, uh, implementation, and lastly, ever evaluation. Okay. <clears throat> Looking at the course content, and the course content we are starting with uh, week one, between week one to week three, uh, what are we going to do here? Okay, so between week one to week three, we are going to look at the endocrine disorders, disorders of the pituitary gland, uh, disorders of the adrenal gland, disorders of the pancreas, disorders of the thyroid, disorders of the parathyroid gland, yeah, and that would be good for us. Week uh, four to six, we'll be we'll be looking at um, we'll be looking at inflammatory musculoskeletal disorders. Okay, musculoskeletal disorders in this case. <clears throat> Um, I hope you are aware of the musculoskeletal disorders, yeah? So on the musculoskeletal disorders, we are going to look at the inflammatory conditions, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, osteomyelitis, like you guys, you need to know at least five differences between osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. We also have muscular and connective tissue disorders, uh, ligamentous injuries, talk of dislocation, subluxation, torn ligament, acute combatment syndrome, fractures, low back pain, yeah, etc. Then from the next uh, week, seven to eight, we'll be looking at uh, genital urinary disorders. In this case, I'll be interested with them. Um, <clears throat> I'll be interested with the um, with this condition, renal disorders, glomerulonephritis, yeah, uh, pelonephritis, you know, um, talk of hydronephrosis, nephrotic syndrome, nephrosclerosis, renal uh, renal failure, disorders of the urinary urinary uh, system urine obstruction, urethritis, cancer of the bladder, disorders of the male reproductive system, disorders of the sexual uh, function, infection, the pan, the pineus, 
the urethra disorders of the scrotum, yeah, very important organ, right? Disorders of the testes, adjacent uh, tissues, disorders of the prostate gland, all of them we are going to study on week 7 to week 8. The other second last system is the neurological system, yeah? And for the neurological system, we are interested in conditions such as headache, yeah, how do you manage headache, uh, loss of consciousness, yeah, that's altered, inflammatory disorders like meningitis, emphysalitis, uh, degenerative disorders like multiple sclerosis and Gulenbar syndrome, guys, take some time and get five differences between these two. This is very, very important. It's high yield information. Parkinsonism, Alzheimer's disease, traumatic disorders, prolapsed intravertebral disc, spinal cord injury, head injury, tumors, cerebrovascular disorders, cerebral aneurysm, uh, cerebrovascular accident, that's the stroke, yeah. Then uh, uh, seizure disorders, yeah, uh, spinal cord injury, uh, brain injury, uh, and brain surgery. We are going to revisit the cranial nerve, and we are interested in the disorders, yeah, low back pain, yes, or lumbago, yes. Then lastly, we'll be looking at the skin disorders. In this case, we are interested with this infection infestations, akin, yeah, treatment, which, what is the treatment of akin vulgaris? Find out, dermatitis, uh, psoriasis, uh, femigas, and tumors, and lastly, burns. So the mode of delivery, we have agreed it will be uh, both physical and online. We'll also have discussion, we we'll have um, self-directed learning, case studies, multimedia instruction, group activities, guided uh, demonstration, simulated patient and uh, conferences, okay? Then lastly, we agreed that the course, out, the course assessment, we have 50 for CAT, 50 uh, out of 100 for the exam, giving us a cumulative percentage of 100 hundred percent. These are our main, our core reading materials. I'll also be sharing with you YouTube channels, yeah, so that you're able to look at and read what is really important uh, for you, okay? Thank you so much and have a nice time, okay? Great.